another day in my office. My office, I mean, I sit outside on my mother's porch. I was quarantining on the North Fork of New York from about February till mid-May, and now I'm in Maryland for a couple of weeks, maybe to a month, and I'll head to LA soon, but it's about 10 now. I just had a meeting, and I'm gonna start doing some heads down work for my day job, and at some point I'll move over to Kale. It's about 5 p.m. and I'm just gonna finish working. I'm just gonna call it a day because my eyes, I can't even see out of them. <laughs> I've been staring at a screen too long. So, good morning, first of all. I got an email, it came overnight from the lab where I got all my wines tested. And my liquid isn't there yet. It's showing up as there being a little bit of alcohol above the legal limit. Since I began this work in 2019, I've been looking to create a non-alcoholic herbal wine. I've gotten my alcohol levels down to as little as 1%, but the legal limit is 0.5%. So I'm a little bit over, and I'm gonna to have to start doing more trials in order to bring the alcohol down. There are several ways to create non-alcoholic wine, including after fermentation, removing any alcohol in the liquid, but I haven't really tasted a product in market that I like um, that uses post-production procedures, especially because when you remove alcohol mechanically, you have to return the lost liquid with chemicals and these non-alcoholic wines that I'm finding are just so filled with fillers, chemicals, and sugar. The texture's off and the taste is off. And so over the past several months of product development, that's what I've been doing. I've been looking to innovate and create new ways to bring the alcohol down in wine. And so since my lab test came back a little bit too high in alcohol, I'm gonna start trials all over again. I am trying a new technique tomorrow for my wine making and so I need to sanitize everything and set up my lab and space in time. So this afternoon and evening, all I'm doing is cleaning the heck out of everything, sanitizing it and starting over with a lab here at home because I'm not in the North Fork and I don't have access to the one that I usually work in. But Tonight, I make a lap, and you guys get to watch me clean. <laughs> I just made a big plan for what I'm doing, the specific point by point of when to add what, how, how much, everything. I have three rounds to do. I have to be super careful and really attentive, so I put it on a big poster board, and I'm gonna put it on my wall, and an easy view so that I can just look quickly and easily as to what I'm supposed to be doing next. I'm done, finally. I put on three wines today. I just cleaned up and I think it's around six. So I'm going to relax for a little bit, just like lay around and do nothing and chill out. That It takes a lot of energy and concentration and focus and so I feel a bit and that's that now it's a bit of a waiting game I wait for my wines to ferment and then I send them to the lab get the readings and make plans from there Saturday morning I just woke up I woke up early I woke up at like 7 <laughs> today I'm gonna head to a farm with my mom and get some groceries I think we are going to a farm we are going to a farm we are going to a farm. We are going to a farm. <laughs> to a farm. We okay. are going. To Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you say. Sunday and I really wanted to 
sleep in, but I can't. <laughs> it's like 8 a.m., so I'm just gonna go on a run. finished working out I, my mind is funny it keeps going to what can I do today but nope I'm off <laughs> oh my gosh I it's two I woke up at seven I wasn't even supposed to wake up that early I wanted to sleep in today I didn't want to work but I ended up working till right now it's just now I'm catching my breath and I'm gonna let myself take a little nap for 20 minutes and probably figure out something else to do, but I really need to take the day off. There's no such thing as weekends, which I am such a proponent of work-life balance. I really need to listen to myself and chill the heck out. I feel better. And I'm embracing doing nothing, which is super hard for me. My mom is making herbal tinctures in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go check it out. Do you hear her? She's, sing She's singing about astragalus, which is an herb. You guys want to see something funny? I'm just super tired, wiped out. I'm totally going to bed right now. <laughs> and it's still light out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bed and the sun is still up. Phase Monday and the world is changing. It's about a week since the George Floyd killing and since there have been riots all over America and it's hard to work and plan and I don't know, live when there's so much I think the best thing I can do to better society and those around me and even my own life is by building business. That's the biggest statement I can make, so I'm fully just diving into work. <laughs> 